Welcome back. We have found the projection room for the shareholders meeting. There seemed to be a slight projector there, so we can probably use that to show the photos of Corley's murder to the shareholders, which would clear Ben's name and probably get Ritberger arrested. However, Mavis, the projection operator, um, is probably not going to let us into that room. What's behind this door? It's locked. I don't know. There's this door, though, which seems to have a card reader next to it, and we did find a card in the safe. Cool. Seems to be a side room of the projection booth, which has a giant video projector. Can we look through the things? No. Here are some words, but that's about it. Let's take a look at this thing. There's a couple of levers on it. A motor lever. Hmm. A lamp lever. Maybe if we shut this off. It doesn't look like this will take the film we need to show the will. This exciting period of transition and growth. Yeah, yeah, right. Maybe that will get her out of the room. What the... What the hell is going on up there? I'm on it. The motor speed got off is all. Hang on a minute. Uh... Yeah, uh, yes. Where was I? I hate this old equipment. My girdle needs less adjusting. Considering this is supposed to be the future, that is quite old equipment. Then again, this game was made in 1995, so... Not as if they could have used plasma screens. Um, unfortunately, it seems she went back into the booth. Didn't distract her long enough. Let's see what the light switch does. Ay, ay, ay. This is intolerable. I'm on it. Just a lamp adjustment. Be fixed in no time. Yeah, uh, uh, yes. As I was saying. Well, at least we're making things really awkward for a burger. Looks like these levers can also be switched up. That should be funny. Not again. Not again. The motor speed got off is all. Hang on a minute. Uh, yeah, yes. Back to the presentation. Well, it's still not working, but we seem to be getting somewhere. See what the result of that is. Oh, for crying out loud. You, in the control booth, wake up! Just a lamp adjustment. Be fixed in no time. At least the film didn't burn, huh? Yeah, yes. Now then. Burning film? Now there's an idea. The film didn't burn because it was moving, which keeps the 
heat distributed. But if we stop the film and turn the lamp on... Undesirable element. Well, let's turn that off and turn the lamp all the way up. Maybe we'll be able to set this thing on fire. That seems to be our standard solution what to problems. What you see before you right now is my vision for Corvus. Oh, perfect. This is a disaster. You're telling me. We're gonna have some major downtime here. Why don't you tell a joke or something? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know any jokes. <laughs> You know, this reminds me of an amusing anecdote <laughs> about a... Uh, uh, I... Well, I'm out of ideas. That should keep her busy for a while. Um, let's see, that allows us to get in here. Also, he seems very good at saying exactly the wrong thing at <laughs> the wrong time. Because he's, uh, like he was saying, this represents my future, my vision of the future for Corley Motors, which is it going up in flames. He's going to do that uh, at least once more. I can see all over the company from here. Poltico, where no manufacturer has gone before. Yeah, right. It's locked on that easel. It's a very old-fashioned slide projector. This is where you put the cards for the big screen video projector. It's not even an overhead projector. But let's um, give him a slideshow that they'll never forget. Now put the will on there as well. Slide shows our new, more aggressive corporate strategy. <laughs> Hello there. If you're hearing this, I must have croaked. Well, people gotta move on, you know, and make room for other people. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. I've made room for someone else to take my place at Corley Motors. And it ain't that embezzling crook Adrian Ripberg. Rip, you don't belong at the head of my company. You belong in jail. Uh. I let that man talk me into far too many things. Like keeping my daughter a secret. He was wrong. I was wrong. I should have stood by her. I hope, Maureen, that you forgive me and that you take over Corley Motors and run it however you see fit. All right, that's enough. How do I turn this damn thing off? I... Uh, I'm sorry you had to hear that tape from one of Malcolm's psychiatric sessions. And near the end, he, he suffered many paranoid delusions. He was haunted by powerful forces of his own creation. And here's one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maureen Corley, and do I have a heck of a story for you. By the time I'm done, you'll see why this man should be in jail. Hey! Where do you hobble off to? Uh-oh. There he goes. And then he sent his goons after me. Run, Rip Burger. When it's time to find you, we'll just follow the shiny trail. Yes, of course we'll have daycare facilities. Any other questions? Oh, speak of the devil. Come over here, Ben. That was great, Ben. We're finally where we were meant to be all along. 
So, after we pick up your bike, we'll go get my gang out of jail. And then find out why my gang never showed up to help us. And then you go business suit shopping. Don't remind me. Don't complain. You're going to be rich. At this point, I'd settle for just a little peace and quiet. Oops. A little bit too early to celebrate. Well, this has got to be the weirdest car chase in history. <laughs> Motorcycle chased by a semi-truck chased by an airplane without wings. Um, let's see what we can do here. <laughs> yeah, I can guess. Hey, it's got a crawl space, just like in its truck. Leech, maybe we can get there? Can we get the Malcolm? Or, you know, maybe not. If you do this often enough, you should run out of bullets. <laughs> okay, maybe not. We got the grill open, but... There's a fan in our way. That fan's like a big meat grinder. Damn, how can we get in there? I can't. That fan's like a big meat grinder. Maybe we can stop the fan. Pretty small. Or not? Hmm. Let me try that again. An actual death in a LucasArts game. So, after we pick up your bike, we'll go get my gang out of jail. Which means we need to do this again. To help us. But we'll do that and then you go in the next video. Shopping. Don't remind me.